What do you do if you are dealing with a coworker who is completely uncivil? I'm talking downright mean, like their mama should have taught them better, kind of uncivil, asking for a friend. So I was talking to a HR leader the other day about some of the challenges his organization was going through after having a really turbulent, stressful year. It's a, definitely an industry that is under an incredible amount of stress at the front line. And he said, honestly, at this point, civility. That's our biggest challenge, getting people to treat each other with common sense, basic levels of respect. And that absolutely broke my heart when I was thinking about these frontline employees who were doing so much to serve the community and their jobs are so vital. And so I wondered, is it just in these kinds of industries or because a lot of the organizations we work with are very human centered organizations because those are the ones who are more likely to hire us. And so I thought, how pervasive is this? And so I did a quick LinkedIn poll and I said, when you're thinking about uh, civility before and after the pandemic or the last couple of years, has it gotten worse or better? And 64% said that it has gotten worse. And I'll put a link in the comments so you can read all of the commentary that happened there. Here's the thing. Of course, we need to be dealing with this at a systemic perspective. We need to be working to at a leadership level to build cultures that have a zero tolerance for that kind of incivility. We need to be supporting frontline workers so they're not so stressed out. You know, you know, you know, I believe in all of that. I'm all about building courageous cultures and eliminating all the toxic courage crushers and supporting people from a human centered point of view. But here's my question for today and for us to talk about, and I really would love to crowdsource this and get your perspective. If you are the employee who is dealing with another employee who is treating you with disrespect, who is yelling and screaming, who's using bad words, what do you do? So, you know, one of my thoughts is the one of the most important things is not to escalate your behavior to that level of intensity. It's kind of those that jujitsu move. You know, they they're coming with a lot of intensity. And one of the best ways to to deal with that is to lower your voice. The angrier and louder they get, the calmer you do because it's hard for them to stay at that level if you are a voice of calm, collected engagement. The next thing I would say is, you know, stop the conversation and say, hey, can, you, can we just hold on for one moment here? It sounds like you're, and do a reflect to connect. What is the emotion? It sounds like you're really angry. It sounds like you're really frustrated. It sounds like you're under a lot of stress right now. And, and I appreciate that. But here's the thing. I, you can't treat me like that. I come to work, I am working really hard to do a good job for our patients or our clients or our, our customers. I want our team to be sex successful. And when you're creating an environment like this for me, it is adding to our stress. So please, can we make an agreement here that we are going to treat one another with respect. We're going to realize that we're on the same team and that we're, we're, we're working together. And I think you know, we've got to sometimes just have to stop a conversation and have that at the grassroots level. Yes, report incivility to HR. Yes, we need to fix all these systems and processes. And here's what I would also encourage you is it's really up to all of us in every moment, choosing how we show up and also choosing how we let other people treat us. So that's, I'm, I'm really curious if you are dealing with this, if you're helping people on your team deal with incivility, what would you say to an employee who right this moment is in crisis because they are dealing with a toxic coworker who is crushing their spirit and is making it hard to do the important work that they're going to do. 
So thanks so much uh, for joining in this deep conversation on asking for a friend. Would love to hear your comments and thoughts.